We all know the myth. A tall, hairy, reclusive creature. His name is Sasquatch, living in the deep woods of the Pacific Northwest. He's been talked about for decades. There's been the so-called sightings in other cities, but only as a glimmer in the imaginations of fanatical dreamers and pranksters looking for attention. But what if this myth, this fairy tale creature, isn't imaginary at all? We got a rare opportunity to find out for ourselves who this Sasquatch really is, and he wasn't what we expected. Frankly, he wasn't where we expected him to be either. Okay. Yeah, you guys ready? Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Rich. Nice, nice to meet you too. In, you All right, thanks. Yeah. Welcome to my home. Do we uh, take our shoes off or? Oh, please take your shoes off. Okay. Oh, got some hair on that. Let me get that. Mr. Sasquatch, I want to. Uh, oh, please call me Squatch. Squatch. Yep. Okay. I appreciate you letting us come here. Of course. It's no problem at all. So, how do you feel about the kind of the general perception the hairy guy in the woods? I'm a little confused on where it came from. It's, it's like most stereotypes. People meet you and they're expecting one thing and then once they've been around you for a while and they realize that they might have been a little naive. Mm -hmm. So you're not hiding? No, I'm, I have never been hiding. I'm living in Shoreline. All right. Um, After a while, it became very clear that we had Squatch pegged all wrong. He was surprisingly accommodating. He even offered to spend the day with us and introduced us to a few of his friends. Squatch, how are you? Oh, it's been so long. Oh, it's good to see you. Good, good to see you. Good friend, Hi. Hi, Rich. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Getting to know this guy. Yeah, yeah, it's a good guy here. Yeah. Good guy. So, tell me, how do you know Squatch? Well, Squatch found me a couple of years ago. He was looking for something affordable, a first time home buyer. Um, he wanted a decent sized place, but something with still great access to nature and great amenities in the city. And well, Shoreline was the perfect fit. Mm. And then he wrote one of those personal letters to the seller and of course they loved him. Oh yes, this is Shoreline. Can't beat it. <laughs> oh, we want to get this done on our feet. Here we are. This is uh, Shoreview Park. It's a great place to come out, get into the trees. <laughs> so what kind of a guy is Squatch? Oh, he's great. I mean, he's like one of my best friends. Friendliest guy you'll ever meet. Super competitive though. Yeah, Central Market's a great place. Asian food is fantastic, seafood's off the charts. And uh, for me, I've been paleo my whole life, so it's a great. Hey, Squatch, here's oh, that. Oh, uh, thank you so much. You for. Yo, you spoil me, my man. Yeah, take care. Is that the manager of the store? Yeah, that's the manager. We've gotten to know each other a little bit. <laughs> Tell me about Daryl's. Well, I mean, it's Daryl's, you know? We come here uh, Taco Tuesday. I mean, you can't miss Taco Tuesday. And, um, you know, it's just a place where we hang out. We, we've got lots of memories here. You know, we meet people. Squash, he's putting himself out there. You know, he's been playing the field and uh, he hasn't had much luck lately, but I mean, the right one's out there. Um, to Squatch! Hey, hey Squatch! Our visit came to a close. We left with a totally different view of Squatch and Shoreline. With our mystery solved and a new friend made, I was left with one lingering thought. Is Squatch just the beginning? What other answers can be found in Shoreline? <laughs>